The initial reason to build this tool is for grass scattering. It creates the slightly parallax of 2D grass sheet and is less expensive than CG render with high sampling. The tool supported Nuke's native geo, such as card, sphere, cylinder. But the cube might experience some problems. For any import geo, it works with read geo too. Let me use a read geo for the first demo, and this could be very common in any case. Let me change the display to wireframe which made it easier to read. Bring in the shot camera. And bring in my grass setup. I have a grass texture download from the internet. pre mold it. Have a soft mask. I use hue shift to create some color variation. And mirror for a few different looks. You can use more different textures to create more variation if needed. Pull out and scatter geo. The tool supports select and snap on vertices or faces. Depends on which you selected. The tool has two different rotation types, look at and normal. I use look at in this demo. Then click generate. After that, a new group named massive snap geo was created. Create a card, connect to the grass setup. Then connect card to massive snap geo. Then you can see multiple cards snapped on the ground geo. Let me change the setting of the card to make it red clearly here and align the grass to the ground level. Connect axis cam input to the shot camera, all the cards face to the camera now. Let me create another viewer to show you how it looks through a shot camera. We still can see ground geo in some areas. I am going to scatter on faces now. As I said before, if selected faces, geo will snap on faces. So I have two sets of massive snap geo, one for the vertex, another one for the face. Connect all these together. In Massive Snap Geo, you can change the random result to get different texture variation. This is the render of this setup. You may find the glitch in some frames. It's because those cards intercept others with camera movement. Here is my adjustment. I separate the camera from scanline render in massive snap geo, and add an additional axis to adjust the look at position target position. This is the demo setup at the beginning of this video. The setup is in 3D, so the entire setup supports any 3D data output from scanline render and ray render. I can use Z depth for the haze and defocus, or even deep if needed. I saw someone use particles for scattering and asked about how to rotate the instances along by the normal. So I added this function into this tool. First, I bring in my rubber duck geo and adjust the size for my scene. Select vertex or faces, if you want to snap with animation, check with animation, then click generate. It might take some time. While we are waiting. I need to mention that this function works with all Nuke's native geo, such as card, sphere, cylinder. But the cube might experience some problems. For read geo, it works with faces, but vertex normal might not work properly on normal rotation. If you selected vertex for this rotation type, it will prompt you if you still want to snap on vertex or faces on read geo. When Massive Snap Geo was created, I connected my rubber duck to the group. In Massive Snap Geo, 
it has an option to create random size and rotation. Zero is no random value applied, one is 100% of the random value applied. Value can go higher than one or lower than zero, depending on your needs. Let me show you the random texture. The tool also provides a random select function. I am going to use placing houses as a demo here. Here is my wooden cabin geo. Let me scale up my ground geo and increase the subdivision. Select faces, check random selection, enter the random percentage, then click generate. I am going to create my three houses with a sequence, so it will randomly pick up input geo. I create a switch, and put the following expression. So I have a different value on every frame and it won't take the value higher than the inputs. Connect my ground and the massive snap geo. Adjust the house's size and rotation from the input. As I mentioned before, if the rotation type is set to normal, and the source is red geo, select vertex might not work properly on rotation. When click generate, it will prompt you a message. OK will keep snap on vertex, cancel will snap on the neighbor faces. Here is the difference between vertices normal and faces normal on red geo. The tool also provides an optional function. When you select vertices or faces, you can save it and restore it anytime. You can check the data stored under the selection data knob. When you snap geo again, you don't have to change the viewer selection again. Just click restore selection and generate again. Another function is show selected vertex info. It will only show the raw data. A nuke native sphere test. If you have all different transformation nodes, it also works too. The tool also supports almost all 3D modify nodes, but not edit geo at this moment. 